this is the government building. They're protected with their shields. This is what happened yesterday when the riots were really wild. I'm surprised that uh, the one policeman wanted to talk with us because I don't think that they were allowed, yeah? No, and actually they all only talk Russian and one could talk English and then he was stopped by his supervisor. Yes, yes. It's a pity. National, so national, national anthem. anthem. And now here are many traditional Romanian songs they're singing. And she said, we just want to have peace. Wow. <laughs> what does it say? What's written? urgent evacuation of our of people. It's the right of people to live in their country, yeah, to live in, in where they want. And people of Artsakh have decided to live in their country, but Azerbaijan started bombing them. And nine months ago, they closed the corridor, so they had no food, no medicine, and the situation is really horrific. And most of the information we don't have now, most of the information we don't know what is happening there at the moment. There are people missing, and their relatives try to find out what is happening with them at the moment. So you think the situation that they are starving and have no food is, is going on because the corridor is closed again, so? The corridor um, has been closed since, uh, if I'm not mistaken, December 2022. Do you know people in Arzak? You have relatives or friends there? I have uh, friends, I have uh -huh, acquaintances. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, but, but mostly I have information from media that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there is no information and there is no, um, they cannot, there is no contact, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there is no electricity. Yeah, Maybe you have seen the pictures 
that people uh, seek for elec electricity to charge their phones, to let no, people I of Armenia that. know that they are alive yes, or their relatives are missing. There are many pictures on the internet of um, lost people and lost children mm -hmm. and according to the mm, formal information, five children have been killed um, and 13 children are injured uh, after the shellings. And Nikol is the minister, yes. the prime minister. Yeah, that stands for Nikol Pashinyan. It's the prime minister. They want him to stand, step back. So you try to bring the goods to the Karabakh region? No, we won't bring it to Karabakh because the borders are closed yet. So we are waiting for the families to come. So we will be ready to give them clothes, food, Wonderful. to help Wonderful. them. So yes. some families are going to be evacuated yes. and come yes, here to Yerevan. Uh -huh. Yes, Yerevan Wonderful. and the regions, to the regions. So uh -huh. we will. Uh -huh. You're so waiting for this. Yes, we are Wonderful. waiting. Do you we are have ready. relatives in, in the Karabakh region? Uh, no. Me, no, but mm -hmm. I have friends, friends and yeah. relatives who have them. So. We have to help them. We are with them. Uh -huh. Did you hear how they are doing? Um, are they safe? Um, I don't think they are safe uh, 100%, but I don't know. <laughs> and you think they would like to come or they would prefer to stay? I have no idea. Yeah. Some, some, some of them will will, uh, want to come to be safe. Yes, to, yes. Uh, for their families and some would rather to stay there to yeah. Yeah. be there. Yes. Can I thank you. you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so you have to slept for two nights. You stayed all the time here. Yeah. One night. One night. One night mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Yeah, but actually, uh, I would even say on behalf of Suren that he has not been sleeping for the last one month because oh. before this uh -huh. um, Suren was in the elections for the Armenia uh, for the Yerevan municipality oh, okay. mayor's elections uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. so it took a lot of efforts and then as soon as we had to kind of get back to normal then uh, this mm -hmm. horror started then this so, horror started yeah. yeah could you foresee that something would happen would happen I think or? everyone in Armenia could foresee this yeah the genocide except is, some yeah. people <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. and it's it's <laughs> yeah. authorities yeah. so we actually have a government who is not only unable to protect us and to guarantee our security but also many times proved to be uh, not willing mm -hmm. has no will to do this and no intention mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so uh, first of all we have to um, yeah, go into this process to change the government. Mm -hmm. And you wish that the people can go back to their homes? Um, or in the meantime they should come here like um, um, get evacuated to Armenia? Or you think it's better that they get the chance to get back in their houses or are they in danger? Because of the Azerbaijani. Actually, I don't know, but yeah. uh, first of all, we have to ensure their security. Yes, of first course. of all. Yeah, yeah. There are also many missed. Um, oh yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, hundreds are missing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If not thousands. Oh my God! Yes. Mm -hmm. I have no words because you know we are like helpless. We don't know what to do. We. I just many observing are and, okay. and you try to do something. We're going to stay here until we succeed. Until you succeed. Okay. We wish and you we are more than sure that you will succeed. Yes, <laughs> yes. We wish you only the best, yes. yes. Yeah, the one girl that shouted at us, I think she's, she must be really desperate. She, she must comes be to very us. Desperate. Yeah. yeah. She asks us what we are doing here. And she said, stop filming. Stop filming. And that 
that we are only helping Azerbaijan. I did not by, understand by, first. Did yeah, you? No, no. She tried to explain that EU and Russia, they, they all want to have the gas from Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. And this is why, yeah, they all stick to Azerbaijan and don't help Armenia. So mm -hmm. she, she said, we, I hate you, she said. Yeah. I hate you. I EU. hate EU. Uh, you I, also. She said, yes, yeah, yes, yes. yes. I uh, hate you. I hate EU. You. I hate Russia. Uh -huh. I only love Armenia. I hate every country, she said. Yeah. I hate all. Only yeah. I only love Armenia. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's see how the journey, oh my God. how the country is going to be with this situation. This is not a first impression. Yeah. And it's Tomorrow. a very bad impression, of course, being here during the war. I mean, it's the worst start you can have. Thanks God, uh, I think now the, it's a... Uh, it's a bit under control, under but the control, yeah. suffering continues in Karabakh. Mm -hmm. Well, the conflict between Christian Orthodox Armenia and Muslim Azerbaijan in the South Caucasus has a very long history. The previous war in the 90s, and then in 2020, and now yes. again. Yeah, and it's so bad. Remember the Armenian genocide <laughs> from, yeah, from I the, think... From the Turks, so yeah, yeah. Ottoman Empire. Yeah, exactly. During this time, in the Ottoman Empire, mm -hmm. yes, which is now modern-day modern Turkey. They, they, they systematically killed and deported Armenians. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not recognized by every not, country. No, that's no. true, yeah. yeah, yeah. But 1.5 million Armenians were killed. Crazy. It's so bad. And of course they are afraid now that that something similar can happen again, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And that's Mother Armenia. That's Mother Armenia. Mm -hmm. watching over Yerevan. Here at the Genocide Memorial burns the eternal flame in remembrance of the tragic event and, all, and of all the victims. Let's hope that in the Nagorno-Karabakh region there won't be another ethnic cleansing, as they call it, and there won't, that they won't be left alone. <laughs> 